Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you step by step how to earn money with data labeling as a complete beginner in 2024 and beyond. Once you have watched this tutorial all the way through, you will notice that labeling data is a mind-blowingly simple job or task that can be done literally by anyone with a computer and a working internet connection. No prior expertise or special knowledge will be needed for this, but we'll get to the technicalities in detail just in a moment. So with that being said, leave a like and now let us get started. So guys, for this tutorial video, I want you to head over to Upwork, one of the largest marketplaces for freelance services on the market, and to select data annotation here from the AI services job category. Why, you might be asking, and what has data labeling to do with data annotation and the AI in the first place? Well, it is actually pretty simple. Let me explain. So data labeling is closely related to data annotation jobs and you will find a lot of data labeling jobs and tasks under the job category data annotation on these freelance marketplaces like Upwork and Fiverr and job sites on the internet. Like for example, this freelancer here offers her skills and services in the following job categories image slash video annotation, data annotation, data labeling and segmentation and she charges $12 per hour of data labeling work for a client for instance. Alright, so as a data labeler it would be your task to label data for AI training purposes guys. That means in practice you don't collect or copy and paste any data for the artificial intelligence. So this has nothing to do with data entry for example, but instead you label already collected data like photos, images, video clips, texts and even audio files to help clients train various AI tools as well as AI powered systems. How do you do that in practice? Well, by for example commenting, categorizing or by leaving annotations in a text. If it is text annotation or text labeling jobs we're talking about here as a subcategory of data labeling, like described in this job opening here for instance, task 1 text annotation, annotate and categorize text comments in your native language and task 2, comment annotation, detect and label inappropriate texts, hate speech and any form of online harassment. So a client may ask a data labeler like you for example to scan text for them to label specific words or inappropriate language like offensive language for instance by leaving an annotation next to the detected word like for example bad word or offensive or something similar so that the AI later may learn how to identify offensive language in text or simply how to not use any inappropriate language itself. Got it? So it's basically training the AI guys and as you probably know AI based technologies are absolutely on the rise. More and more companies or people in general use AI tools for their own projects be it commercial or personal. There are being developed also more and more AI tools on the market because the demand for AI solutions is constantly growing. And it's not a secret that the artificial intelligence needs to be fed with masses of data to work flawlessly and properly. And that data needs to be labeled by someone. And that's for you as a data labeler or data annotation coming guys. As previously mentioned, there are several subcategories and types of data labeling tasks. Some are related to labeling items in texts and some to items we see in images, in videos or here on audios. And the greatest aspect of working as a data labeler in 2024 is guys that this industry data labeling slash data annotation is just beginning to grow. Currently we will find only a few hundred ongoing gigs and services on the marketplace of Fiverr for example. Upwork's biggest rival on the freelance market as you probably know under the search term data labeling as well as data annotation. Which means there's currently pretty little competition for you on the job market and the less competition for you the higher your chances of making a sale with your own gig or service. It's actually pretty trivial so there's still time to establish some of your own data labeling gigs and services on sites like Fiverr or Upwork. Also I'm going to provide you with a list of other online platforms and websites that feature data labeling jobs just in a second so bear with me. Plus despite the low competition on the job market there is already a visible demand for data labeling slash AI training services. Just take a look at some of these data annotation gigs on Fiverr. Some of these have already been purchased by clients tens and even hundreds of times. 
judging by the number of customer ratings that have been given so far, like 157 here, 66 and 185 there, that one has been rated 273 times, and so on and so forth. We can assume the number of sales per gig is even higher than that, because as you probably know, not every customer leaves a review or rating. So long story short, data labeling as an industry or job category has definitely some potential for the upcoming future. Speaking of your earning potential as a data labeler for the AI, as said earlier, it's not only text you may be asked to annotate or label for a client, like described here in this job description, Bengali language data annotation. The job requires identifying different parts of speech in Bengali and annotate it accordingly in an Excel sheet. Or the same type of task, but this time for those of you guys who speak fluent or native Korean, there are also other types of data labeling slash annotation tasks you can earn money with. Some clients may, for example, pay you fixed rates per completed data labeling job or per labeled set of data, and some clients may pay you hourly rates, or you simply set your own price per gig or per hour, or set of labeled data like freelancers do on Fiverr or Upwork usually, and charge for example 5 bucks for labeling images and photos for clients, or to be more precise, charge prizes like for instance 3 cents per bounding box slash polygon you draw around an object in an image or photo. Like we see here on this example photo to the left, for instance, your client may ask you to label specific data like images or photos by drawing these bounding boxes here around items you see boxes, squares, triangles, circles, you name it, or by assigning different colors to object types, like blue colored boxes for humans or animals, yellow boxes for vehicles like cars for example, and red boxes for streetlights and so on and so forth. You gain access to a data labeling software and are taught the basics and can start immediately if you like. As you can see, data labeling is actually no rocket science and has absolutely nothing to do with programming AI language models. You simply train the AI by labeling and categorizing data for it. Masses of data actually. For example, you may draw even thousands of these boxes for a client and charge 35 bucks for that or even 10k polygons or boxes for $100. I personally believe drawing thousands of these boxes all day long might turn out to be quite an exhausting task, but at least it is breathtakingly simple and beginner friendly and doesn't require any special skills or knowledge from the labeler. Literally anyone can become a data labeler or annotator, guys. It's not only the big guys on the freelance market, such as Upwork and Fiverr that offer AI training and data labeling jobs, though. There are also other online platforms and job sites you can visit and use as a data labeler, be it on freelance basis or on a full-time contract, like that website here, for instance, OneForma, work as a annotator, work from anywhere with OneForma, an online platform that connects you with part-time, full-time and remote jobs that help businesses unlock the potential of AI. Which is exactly what we're looking for, right? You can sign up on OneForma completely free of charge, and once you're inside, select and apply for one or more of the available jobs in the annotation slash labeling category. Currently, they feature only two jobs here for data labelers, unfortunately, but at least these two job openings are still ongoing and active, and usually they feature jobs with pretty decent payment rates here on OneForma. That one here, for example, might bring you a payment rate of $10 per piece and is related to data or labeling music tracks and songs, or parts of them. Currently looking for music lovers to help us out on a project involving categorization and labeling of all types of music with the goal of improving suggestions made to listeners. There you go. And the purpose of this task would be to help the AI improve the experience of music listeners. You can read through the job requirements below if you like and apply by clicking on this button at the bottom of the page. Then we got Remo Tasks, another online platform that features simple and beginner friendly data labeling jobs. Now these guys offer even 3D animation labeling tasks. These usually have a higher difficulty level though. Well, they also pay better. The Toloka app, if you'd like to earn some quick cash on a site like 100 or 150 bucks per month with simple image or photo labeling tasks, for example, like outlining objects and images in photos. And lastly, also Audio B. These guys offer labeling jobs from the audio annotation slash segmentation niche, for example, with an average payment rate of $7.20 per labeled audio hour, which may not sound like the highest payment rate on earth, I'll give you that, but at least these audio labeling tasks are mind-blowingly simple. You are given an audio file by a client 
and you either are asked to transcribe it completely or to label what is being said on tape, like speaker A speaking from minute 0, 15 seconds to minute 0, 40 seconds, and speaker B replying and so on and so forth, and to leave short comment annotations at the corresponding timestamps. Super trivial guys, I'm sure these jobs can be done by anyone with ease, well you need some English and listening skills of course for these, that should be pretty self-explanatory though. So guys, to not make this video too long, I'd say we call it a day here, that's how you can earn money with data labeling jobs in 2024 as a complete beginner. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.